spend it, spend it, spend it. That should never last. If I end up in the cast, I'ma do it cash. All design a fact. Dying to live life. I know I can go. Can you spend it? What I have. So obviously. Y'all know what happened in game two with the Lakers and Grizzlies. The Lakers got spanked by the Memphis Grizzlies without John Morant. And the big story of that game was Dylan Brooks is running his damn mouth. You know, actually really getting in LeBron's head. He did a really good job. And after the game, he wanted to make the dumbest statement in NBA. He won the dumbest statements in the NBA as saying, oh, he's old. He has nothing left. He's he's not the same player he used to be. In the this and that, he's 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 easy to handle. Well, guess what, Dylan Brooks, you have made a huge mistake. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about what that big mistake is that Dylan Brooks has made. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Will. We're back again with another video. Y'all know where I'm about to go with this, and. Y'all know where my where I stand with Dylan Brooks. He's the most annoying player in the NBA. I talked about this in previous videos. Y'all can go about watch if y'all watch my content. Y'all can go about watch back uh, in the Memphis Grizzlies video that I dropped, where I talked about Dylan Brooks. I talked about not just Dylan Brooks. I talked about the Memphis Grizzlies as a team. If y'all want to go check that video, it's on my channel and link down would link would be down in the description below. But here's the thing. Obviously, I'm not a fan of Dylan Brooks, but I will say this. I respect the trash talk because we don't have that much trash talk in this league nowadays. We don't. Let's be honest. And we need that energy in the playoffs. We need that. We need that 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 dog, that toughness in the playoffs. We need, we need this kind of trash talk to bring the best out of these superstars we have in this league, right? So, this trash talking that Dylan Brooks is doing and saying all this on in the, in the post game post game interview in the conferences y'all th y'all think I hate it no I love it I love it here's why like I said it's gonna bring the best out of all these superstars look what he did look what Russell Westbrook did to Dylan Brooks he shut him up in the regular season dropped 36 Look what Dame did, did to Dylan Brooks. You notice Dylan Brooks don't talk don't talk mess about Damian Lillard, right? Because Damian Lillard dropped 43 on him in the regular season. On the road with Ann Memphis. And then we get to LeBron. You really going to talk about this man? Are you kidding me? He knows what he's doing. I'm not going to lie. He's smart and dumb at the same damn time. No future. He's smart and dumb at the same damn time because he knows how to get in players' heads, right? And he knows what he's doing in this, in this matchup, in this series, right? But, come on, let's be honest, y'all. LeBron still has it. LeBron is going to come out dropping 40 triple double. I expect him to do that in game three. And if he doesn't do that, AD will. One of those players is going to go off in game three. I'm very excited for this for tomorrow because I need to see what LeBron how how he responds to this. This is what we need in these playoffs. We need more trash talk. We need more toughness. We need more fight. I'm tired of all this soft, soft stuff in the end that's going on in the NBA. Don't, let me, don't even get me started on the refs. I don't even feel like talking about that right now. What's going on right now is LeBron versus Dylan Brooks. And LeBron needs to bust his ass. Just like Stephen A said. He needs to. He needs to go. And I'm not even talking about what he did in Miami where he dropped 61 in a regular season game with mask on. I'm not even talking about that. I'm not even going to talk about the 45 infamous, one of the greatest player performances in NBA history versus Boston in game six. I'm not even going to talk about that. Well, what he needs to do is what he did in 2018. See, 
2018 LeBron was the greatest player of in NBA history. Try to argue that point. I don't care what y'all say. Le- Le- LeBron James 2018 was the be- best player of all time. He was the greatest player of all time. Greatest player performance ever. Make an argument. Greatest player performance ever that never that didn't won the championship that year. Obviously, y'all know why. He had eight. I'm repeat myself. Eight 40 point performances. Including back to back 40 point performances versus Toronto and Indiana. What did he do versus Toronto? Well, his name, Gobranto, says itself. I already jumped the video on what he did to Toronto. Y'all can go back and check that video out. Link in the description. And he also basically beat the Boston Celtics, the young Boston Celtics team that was uprising, that was very talented with Jason Tatum's. Obviously, they're younger, Jason Tatum, younger Jalen Brown, a Terry Rozier, Al Horford that's up in the age, Marcus Smart, Mar- Marcus Morris. Like they had, they had a obviously like a squad they've been having, right? It was just younger. He damn near beat them by his damn self. Who was on that team other than Kevin Love? J.R. Smith. Okay, who else? Jordan Clarkson, George Hill. This is what I'm saying. LeBron has to drop at least 35 triple double. You don't have to go for 50. You can. You can do that. But you gotta make sure that your team wins too. Because what Brian Whithorse was talking about in the first take, I, I see his points. Even though I disagree with his whole narrative of his point, I get what he is saying. AD does have to be the focus for this series. He ha- he does have to be the focus for them to win the series. But when you got a player that's agging you, that's getting on your nerves, that's getting in your head, you got to you got to remind him who the hell you are. You got to. And that's what LeBron's going to do in game 3. I expect him. And if he does, if he doesn't, it's going to be AD. It's going to be one of the two. I expect the Lakers to win game three. But we're going to see what happens. Dylan Brooks is doing a good job with his trap talk. That's why I, I, I respect it even though he's knowing. I don't I don't really like him. I don't really don't care to, to like him or not. But I respect it. Just make sure Dylan Brooks, y'all win something. Back it up by winning something. That's all I got to say for this video. Yo, like the video give your boy a like subscribe to your channel if you're new gonna keep dropping these playoff reactions and commentary obviously and i'll see y'all in the next video it's being your boy will and i'm out